Now the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. And her husband Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken by the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took his wife, but knew her not until she had given birth to a son. And he called his name Jesus. What's going on, friends? You want to know what makes me trust the ice? Well, it's not really about the ice at all. See, I've got my trust in something much bigger than water in frozen form. Check it. I've had to learn that it's cool to have a plan and all, but we can't possibly know everything that's going to happen. There's a story from the Bible about a guy named Joseph. He was minding his own business, engaged to a girl named Mary. He was super excited to marry her, but one day he learned that Mary was going to have a baby. Joseph was definitely not cool with that because they weren't married yet and he knew the baby wasn't his. Joseph was a solid guy and because of that, he didn't want to cause people to think badly about Mary. So he just planned to call the marriage off behind the scenes. But after Joseph had the breakup all planned out, an angel from the Lord came to him in a dream. The angel said, Joseph, son of David, don't be afraid to accept Mary as your wife. The baby inside her is from the Holy Spirit. Wait, what? Yep, you heard that right, my people. But there's even more. The angel continued by saying, Mary will give birth to a son. You will name him Jesus. Give him that name because he will save his people from their sins. That's so cool. God did all of this to fulfill his promise that a special woman would be pregnant and give birth to his own son. When Joseph woke up, he did what the Lord's angel told him to do. Joseph married his girl Mary and became the earthly father to God's son, Jesus. Joseph did not doubt God's plan, but instead he trusted that God was at work doing something good, even though he couldn't see it right then. And Joseph's friendship with God grew as he trusted him. I don't know about you, but after hearing that story, I realized that God has a plan for every single person. And because of that, I know I can trust him in everything. So whether it's something super cool like ice climbing or something a little harder like having a hard time with my friends, I know that I can trust God.
to the O to the Y. I got the J to the O to the Y. J to the O to the Y. I got the J to the O to the Y.
and I read your word. Open up my heart, I want to worship you. When I get quiet and I read My father, you're my best friend And you love me, you hear me That would never end 